now that national debt is at $26 trillion. Soaring by $1 trillion just in one month. Shalom. All praises, glories, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wacha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who have told me this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom wa chasa to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea line of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you I say Shalom, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah This lesson is edifying. In this lesson we will expand upon this article uploaded on the 11th of June 2020 at approximately 14.26 p.m. which is around 2.26 p.m by rtnews.com and the title of this article reads u.s national debt hits 26 trillion soaring by one trillion just in one month and this is the thick clay that is written that is spoken of in the book of habakkuk the second chapter of the holy scriptures the thick clay the ibatyat of Esau Edom, the so-called Caucasian race, beginning with their hegemony. It reads, the latest data from the Treasury Department shows that the U.S. gross national debt has exceeded 26 trillion for the first time as the nation grapples with economic relief from the COVID-19 pandemic, which a second wave is right around the corner. National debt is up from 23.5 trillion in March with an increase of 1 trillion since May 5th according to CBS News critical excuse me citing data from the Treasury public debt has grown by 6 trillion since President Donald Trump took office in 2017 the Treasury Department notes that the growth in public debt was caused by the allocation of funds for the COVID-19 pandemic counteraction program and the pandemic relief tax deferral CBS reported. The U.S. government has allocated trillions of dollars in coronavirus relief since the start of the pandemic. The so-called CARES Act Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security was adopted in March and Euro marked $2 trillion, while the $3 trillion Heroes Act Health and Economic Recovery Omnibus Emergency Solutions was passed by the House of Representatives in May. According to the Treasury's monthly report the federal government budge, budget deficit for the first eight months of the, of the current fiscal year which started on the first october 2019 has reached 1.88 trillion already higher than any full physical year deficit in u.s history the 2020 eight-month deficit more than doubled the 738.6 billion deficit for the same period in the 2019 physical year this concludes the article now let's get to the scriptures this is the book of habakkuk chapter 2 verse 5 yea also because he and the he is referring to esau edom so-called caucasian race according to the book of malachi chapter 1 verse 4 they are the wicked in whose hand pursuant to the book of job chapter 9 verse 24 the earth has been given into beginning with their hegemony their rulership their elite Yea, also because he transgresseth by a wine, by his false philosophies, by his democracy. He is a proud man because the pride of Edom is very great. He has great hubris. Now that keepeth at home, meaning that this man has to go from nation to nation to reap the benefits of each nation, of what each nation produces in terms of resources supplies and whatnot who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death and this man's desire is so enlarged that it cannot be filled because this is the book of proverbs chapter 
chapter 21 verse 26 he covered he covered death and the word cov covet means to desire that which is not one's to, to desire another person's possession that is what it means to covet he covered death and the he is referring to the edomites the elites of esau Edom. he covered death greedily all the day long so this man is greedy he has an insatiable appetite whose desire is as hell you know it's enlarged but the righteous giveth and spareth not and the righteous is elect back in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 5 he is a proud man neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell this man has to go from nation to nation to expand his own empire his own rulership to suck up the wealth and the resources of, of each nation and at the same time accumulate debt and is as deaf and cannot be satisfied he has an insatiable appetite he has an insatiable nature can never be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his because that's that's what they do they increase that which is not theirs they go from nation to nation and take from each nation that which is not his but rather is theirs why because his desire is enlarged and is as hell and is as deaf and cannot be satisfied he has an insatiable appetite shall not all these take a, take up a proverb a parable excuse me against him and a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his how long and to him that leadeth that leadeth himself with thick clay and this this man is covered in thick clay in, in, in thick debt 26 trillion dollars in debt man which a few years ago it was what 23 2017 now it's at 26 trillion dollars that's that thick play that national debt shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shall be for booties unto them and these nations they're gonna see America and they're seeing America Babylon the great for what she truly is that ain't shit whole that they're gonna burn with fire by way of shooting their ICBM nuclear missiles over here into America, Babylon the Great. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of America, Babylon the Great. Because when they came over here, by way of the American Calvary, they slaughtered Gad and Reuben and Issachar. And they built this land off of the backs of the children of Israel. From Judah all the way down to Issachar. They built this land upon violence, upon, upon blood, because of men's blood. And for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. So the Mosai is going to recompense Esau, Edom, for all of their violence against his people. And for all of his wickedness, all of his atrocities that he has done ever since he came back into rulership upon the earth so with that I pray this lesson was brief and edifying until the next I say Shalom